Hello. Welcome to the Angoy Public Library Preschool Storytime. My name is Pamela Green. I'm one of the children's librarians at the library. And today we are going to have stories and songs and finger plays for primarily ages three to five that you can use these songs and chants and um, stories with children of all ages. But the books are geared towards three to five year olds. Um, we're going to start with a finger play. And I'm going to put one thumb up, and then I'm going to put two thumbs up. And we're going to sing, Tommy thumbs are up and Tommy thumbs are down. Tommy thumbs are dancing all around. They're dancing on my shoulders, they're dancing on my head, they're dancing on my knees, and then they go to bed. Okay, now we're going to do Polly Pointer. Polly Pointer's up. Then Polly Pointers down, Polly Pointers dancing all around. They're dancing on my shoulders and dancing on my head. They're dancing on my knees and then they go to bed. And then we have Timmy Tall. Timmy Tall is up and Timmy Tall is down. Timmy Tall is dancing all around. They're dancing on my shoulders and dancing on my head. They're dancing on my knees, and then they go to bed. And now the hardest one is Rose a Ring. It's your ring finger. Rose a Ring is up, and Rose a Ring is down. Rose a Ring is dancing all around. She's dancing on my shoulders and dancing on my head. She's dancing on my knees, and then she goes to bed. And the final one is. Peter Pinky. Peter Pinky's up and Peter Pinky's down. Peter Pinky's dancing all around. They're dancing on my shoulders and dancing on my head. They're dancing on my knees and then they go to bed. Then we're going to see all of them. Everybody's up and everybody's down. Everybody's dancing all around. They're dancing on my shoulders and dancing on my head. They're dancing on my knees and then they go to bed. And they go to sleep. And then they wake up. Oh. And they yawn and they stretch. Can you stretch with me? Big stretch. And then stretch the other way. Big stretch. Good. And now we're going to have story time. And today's story, story time is brought to you by the letter A. A is the first letter in the alphabet. You all know your alphabet song, right? Can you help me sing it? Oh, maybe Mr. Alligator would like to join us and help sing the alphabet song. Alligator starts with the letter A. Okay, are you ready, Mr. Alligator? <clears throat> okay, there you go. <coughs> Very good. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me. Oh, Mr. Alligator, you have a humongous mouth. Ah! Very big. I know, that's all I wanted you to say. It's a big mouth. Okay, I'm going to take down the letter A for right now. And we're left with a tree. And Mr. Alligator likes to play a game with the animals that are in the tree. Would you like to see it? Okay. Here's one of the animals. What is that? It's a monkey! That's one monkey. If I add a second monkey, that makes two monkeys. If I add a third monkey, that makes Three, the third, the third monkey. One, two, three. And if I add a fourth monkey, 
that makes four. One, two, three, four. And if I add a fifth monkey, that makes five. Let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to sing a song. Are you ready? <clears throat> okay, you sure? Okay. Five little monkeys sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, jaws open wide, and snaps a little monkey deep inside. Oh my goodness. Can you spit him out? Spit him out. Please spit them out. Thank you. How many monkeys are left? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, jaws open wide, and snaps a little monkey deep inside. Oh my goodness. Okay, spit them out. Spit them out. Please spit them out. Thank you. Very nice. Good boy. Okay, let's count how many are left. One, two, three. Three little monkeys sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator. You can't catch me. Along with Mr. Alligator, jaws open wide and snap. A little monkey deep inside. Spit them out. Spit them out. Please spit them out. Thank you. How many are left? One, two. Two little monkeys sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator. Jaws open wide. A little monkey deep inside. Please spit him out. Thank you. One little monkey sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator. Jaws open wide. And snap the little monkey deep inside. Please spit him out. Thank you, Mr. Alligator. That was fun. Yes. Now I'm going to give you the monkeys and I want you to go and play some more with them, but don't eat them. Okay? Are we clear? Don't eat them. Okay. Alright, I'll put them in your mouth. Now you can go off and play with them, but don't eat them, okay? What? Are you going to eat them? No? Okay. Okay. Go ahead and walk and play. Still not going to eat them, right? <gasps> Mr. Alligator, I saw you shaking your head yes. I think we better take them for ourselves. Please spit them out. Thank you. That was fun. We'll see you later, Mr. Alligator. <laughs> okay, well, I want to read our first story today, and this is called Ouch! And this is written by Rob Neal Scamell and illustrated by Michael Terry. And if you look at the cover, you know, it's hard to see, there's a little hedgehog, and on the hedgehog's back is an apple. So this is called Ouch. And I'm going to read the book to you, but I'm not, you're not going to see my face. We're going to just look at the pictures in the book. Okay? Ouch! By Rob Neal Scamell and illustrated by Michael Terry. Read with permission by Good Books. Ouch! Hedgehog had just finished building her winter nest under the old apple tree. Not too large and not too small, just right for a nice long winter sleep. 
Suddenly, a juicy red apple landed on her back. Plop! Ouch! squeaked Hedgehog. She curled into a shiny ball. She curled into a spiny ball, hoping it would fall off. But when she uncurled, the juicy red apple was still there. Hedgehog tried to squeeze herself and the apple into the beautiful new nest, but could she get in? No, she could not. Not with the apple on her back. The nest was too small. Oh dear. Squirrel, scurrying past with an armful of brown nuts, stopped to help. Stand still. I'll push the apple off, he said. And he pushed, and he struggled, and he heaved, and he tugged. But the juicy red apple stayed where it was. Worse still, three of Squirrel's brown nuts got caught in Hedgehog's spine. So now she had a juicy red apple and three brown nuts on her back. Oh dear, wailed Hedgehog. Winter is coming and I can't get into my nest. What will I do? Try rolling on your back, snorted Pig, trotting up. That'll get rid of it all. Hedgehog threw herself on the ground. Her little legs paddled in the air as she twisted and wriggled and rolled. Has it all gone? She asked hopefully, scrabbling to her feet. Pig shook his head. No, the juicy red apple and the three brown nuts were still there. So were a small green pear and a crumpled brown leaf. Oh dear, sighed Hedgehog, rolling her eyes. But up in the sky, sailing towards Hedgehog, she saw a colorful piece of paper. Bother, she cried. This way and that she ran as fast as she could. This way and that drifted the paper and landed right on her back between the apple and the three brown nuts. It's not fair, cried Hedgehog, who now had a juicy red apple, three brown nuts, a small green pear, a crumpled brown leaf, and a colorful piece of paper on her back. I'll never get into my nest. Hedgehog pattered to the pond and gazed at her reflection in the water. Hello, Hedgehog. That's a lot of stuff on your back, croaked Frog. Hmm, I'm trying to get rid of it, sniffed Hedgehog. Dive, said Frog. That will wash it off. Hedgehog dipped a foot in the murky water, then dived. Splash! Her friends watched Hedgehog bobbing up and down. The juicy red apple, the three brown nuts, the small green pear, the crumpled brown leaf, and the colorful piece of paper were all still there. So was a pink water lily. Glug, glug, glug gurgled Hedgehog as the others heaved her out of the water. She did look funny. But Hedgehog did not find it funny. Stop laughing, she spluttered and stamped her feet on the ground. Where am I going to sleep? Pig and Squirrel looked worried. So did Frog. I do have one last idea, oinked Pig. Squeeze through that hedge over there. That'll brush everything off. So Hedgehog closed her eyes and squeezed herself through the thick leaves. But it, did it get everything off her back? No, it did not. It was all still there. So were four ripe blackberries. And there, staring at her with a look of great surprise, stood Goat. Ooh, cried Goat. You brought lunch. Help yourself, said Hedgehog. Take it all. Yippee, grayed goat. And then he picked off and ate the juicy red apple, the three brown nuts, the small green pear, the pink water lily, and the four ripe blackberries. For pudding, he ate the paper. The only thing left, the only thing he left was the crumpled brown leaf. He just couldn't eat anymore. Hooray, cried Hedgehog. She felt as light as a feather. Thank you, goat, she said. Then she ran as fast as her little legs could carry her through the gate, past the pond, across the orchard, under the tree, and home to her nest. Hedgehog squeezed into her little nest. It fitted her perfectly. 
and it was the best nest ever. Outside, a cold wind blew another apple off the tree, but it didn't fall on Hedgehog. She was safe in her nest and fast, fast asleep. And that's the story of Out. Mm, that apple reminds me of a song about some apples. I want to share it with you. We have an apple in the tree. What color is that apple? Green. Yes, that's a green apple. There's one green apple. If I add one more, that makes two green apples. If I add one more, that makes three green apples. If I add one more, that makes four green apples. And if I add one more, that makes five green apples. Let's count them to be sure. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Good. And now I want to introduce you to the farmer who is growing this apple tree. His name is Farmer Jones. I'm going to move him up here so you can say hi to him. Can you wave to him? Yes, that's Farmer Jones. Those are all his children in Inglewood. Yes. Okay. Come back. And I'm going to put you behind and up here. So you can see all your apples. Oh my goodness. Well, it is time for apple picking. So Farmer Jones is going to pick some of his apples. Do you want to help him? Okay, let's sing this song. Farmer Jones had five green apples hanging on a tree. Farmer Jones had five green apples hanging on a tree. Then he picked one apple. And he ate it hungrily. Nom, 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 nom. Now there are four green apples hanging on the tree. Farmer Jones had four green apples hanging on a tree. Then he picked one apple. And he ate it hungrily. Nom, 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 nom. Now there are three green apples hanging on a tree. Farmer Jones has three green apples hanging on a tree. Then he picked one apple. And he ate it hungrily. Now there are two green apples hanging on a tree. Farmer Jones has two green apples hanging on a tree. Then he picked one apple. And he ate it hungrily. Now there is one green apple hanging on a tree. Farmer Jones had one green apple hanging on a tree. Then he picked one apple. And he ate it hungrily. Now there are no green apples hanging on a tree. Farmer Jones has no green apples hanging on a tree. So he picked up. Whoops. And that's the end of that. Okay. Well, now I'm going to share another book with you. And the book is called Have You Ever Seen an Alphabet Book? An ABC book. So I think it's asking, have you ever seen an ABC book? And on the cover we have an alligator. And on the alligator are antlers. And this is a book that is written and illustrated by Bo Gardner. Okay. So I'm going to share the book with you and I'll be back in a minute. Have you ever seen an ABC book, text and graphics by Bo Gardner, read with permission from Dodd Mead. A. Have you ever seen an alligator with antlers? B. Have you ever seen a banana with buttons? C. Have you ever seen a candy cane cat's tail? D. 
Have you ever seen a dinosaur playing a drum? E. Have you ever seen an egg with ears? F. Have you ever seen a flamingo with a fan? G. Have you ever seen a ghost with glasses? H. Have you ever seen a handle on a hat? I. Have you ever seen an inchworm on ice skates? J. Have you ever seen a jelly bean jump rope? K. Have you ever seen a king in a kettle? L. Have you ever seen a ladybug riding on a lightning bolt? M. Have you ever seen a monster wearing mittens? N. Have you ever seen a nose like a noodle? O. Have you ever seen an octopus eating oatmeal? P. Have you ever seen a pig in pajamas? Q. Have you ever seen a quilt of queens? R. Have you ever seen a rocket rainbow? F. Have you ever seen a spaghetti sandwich? T. Have you ever seen a turtle with a tie? U. Have you ever seen a unicorn under an umbrella? V. Have you ever seen a vampire playing a violin? W. Have you ever seen a watermelon with wheels? X. Have you ever seen an x-ray of a xylophone? Y. Have you ever seen a yak on a yacht? Z. Have you ever seen a zipper on a zebra? A. B. C. D. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And that's the story of Have You Ever Seen an ABC Book? All right, well, I'm going to take our tree down. I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to show you, I think we'll do another finger play. So can you shake out your hands? Good, now open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Up above your chin, chin, chin. Open wide. But do not let them in. We do that again. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, up above your chin, 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 open wide, but do not let them in. And we are going to now look again at a little letter A, and we're going to reinforce what we learned today. A is for apple, and we're going to sing. A is for apple, apple starts with A. A is for apple, apple starts with A. A is for apple, apple starts with A. Oh, apple, apple, apple starts with A. Can you sing that with me? A is for apple, apple starts with A. A is for apple, apple starts with A. A is for apple, apple starts with A. Oh, apple, apple, apple starts with A. Good. Now what's the next letter of the alphabet? A, B. We said B, there's our B. 
and the B is for banana. So we're going to sing. B is for banana. A banana starts with B. B is for banana. A banana starts with B. B is for banana. A banana starts with B. Oh, banana, banana, banana starts with B. Okay, let's hear you sing it, okay? B is for banana. A banana starts with B. B is for banana. A banana starts with B. B is for banana. A banana starts with B. Oh, banana, banana, banana starts with B. And then we have the letter C. And I know on Sesame Street, C is for cookie, but today we're going to have it be corn. Let's put some corn. Ready? C is for corn. Corn starts with C. C is for corn. Corn starts with C. C is for corn. Corn starts with C. Oh, corn, corn, corn starts with C. Can you sing that with me? C is for corn, corn starts with C. C is for corn, corn starts with C. C is for corn, corn starts with C. Oh, corn, corn, corn starts with C. And next week, our story, our preschool story time will be brought to you by the letter B. Maybe for banana? We'll see. So thank you so much for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye.